And I'll never forget 678, or excuse me, 628 F flat, first play, first play of uh, seven on seven. And I dropped back and we got the 15, or 20 yard dig over here and we got the drag coming like this. And they're in, they're in Tampa too. And the wheel linebacker drops back, you know, he floats back. So I come back, boom. I hit the line, or I hit the tight end coming across and he gets seven or eight yards and I'm feeling good about myself. And I walk over to Coach March because he used to stand off to the side and you'd have to go over and get the play to him. I walk over there, I got, you know, I'm, shoot, I'm feeling good. I walk over like this, stand next to Coach March and he has no expression on his face. And he's got his little play sheet like this and he says, why didn't you throw the dig? And he doesn't even look at me. Why didn't you throw the dig? And I said, well, uh, you see, I saw a cover two and I saw the linebacker, you know, he started drifting back and da da da. So I, he said, why do we call dig? I said, for cover two. He said, so did you get cover two? I said, yeah. He said, well, I'm not asking you to evaluate what happens elsewhere. If we get cover two and we call dig, throw the dig. And he looked at me, finally lifted his eyes up. He looked at me, said, I can't coach caution. And it was like this. For 10 years, I've been coached to be cautious. Hey, it's better to take, you always take a profit, da, da, da. And here was this coach saying, when I call it, and if you get what we're looking for, you rip it. And if something goes wrong, that's on me. And I'll take the bullet. And he did it over and over for me. And it, it freed me up. For two years, I threw for 4,000 yards each year with him. And had, I learned more football in those two years than I learned in the other 14 years combined. Loved him.